Hello there, this is John V, and I'm here for another Jscape MFT server tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy multiple files automatically from AWS S3 to Azure Data Lake Storage using Jscape MFT server. I'm going to assume you already have an Azure Data Lake trading partner and an Amazon S3 trading partner. If you don't know how to create these, read the blog posts or watch the videos in the posts, how to push files from local to Azure Data Lake based on an event, and how to connect and upload files to an Amazon S3 trading partner. We've provided links to those in the post or in the description. Once you have those two trading partners ready, you may then proceed to add a trigger that would copy multiple files from that S3 trading partner to the Azure Data Lake trading partner. Go to the Triggers module and click the Add button to add a new trigger. You'll then be given the option to choose a trigger template that best describes your desired workflow. Let's just skip this part for now and click OK. Give this trigger a name, say, Copy Multiple Files from S3 to Azure Data Lake Storage. After that, choose an event type that you want this trigger to listen for. We want this trigger to fire at a particular time, so we just choose the current time event type. Click Next to proceed. Basically, we want this trigger to fire at 11.30 p.m. every day, so we create the expression for that using the Expression Builder. If you don't know how to use the Expression Builder yet, read the post Introducing the New Trigger Conditions Expression Builder. We've provided a link to that in the post or in the description. Once you have your expression ready, click the Next button. We're now ready to add the trigger action that would ultimately copy multiple files from your S3 trading partner to your Azure Data Lake trading partner. Click the Add button to add a new trigger action. Next, expand the Action drop-down list and then select Trading Partner Synchronization. After that, click OK. Let me now walk you through the key settings for this trading partner synchronization action. The first ones you'll encounter are Partner A and Partner B. Partner A is basically the source, is the trading partner from which the target trading partner will be copying from. So in our case, that would be the AWS S3 trading partner or TP-S3. Partner B, on the other hand, is the trading partner to which the source trading partner will be copying to. In our case, that would be the Azure Data Lake trading partner or TP-Azure Data Lake. Next up are Path A and Path B. Path A is the relative directory path in Partner A, which Path B will be copying from, and Path B is the relative path on Partner B that Path A will be copying to. In our case, path A is jscape john forward slash folder 1 and path B is jscape 1 folder 1, wherein jscape john is a bucket in the AWS S3 and folder 1 is a folder inside that bucket. And then jscape 1 is a data lake storage in Azure Data Lake and folder 1 is a folder inside it. The next setting we need to specify is the copy condition. This is the condition Jscape MFT Server will use to determine whether to commence copying or synchronizing files each time the predefined schedule of this trigger is up. If you select Different Time, Jscape MFT Server will commence copying if it sees that file timestamps on A are different from the ones on B. If you select Different Size, Jscape MFT Server will commence copying if it sees that file sizes on A are different from the ones on B. If you select different content, Jscape MFT Server will commence copying if it sees that the content in A is different from the content in B. Let's just choose different time for now. Another setting you need to specify is a synchronization mode. There are four options. There's mirror, where new and modified files from A are copied to B and redundant files in B will be deleted. There's Synchronize, where new and modified files from both paths are copied to each other. There's Backup, where all files from A are copied to B. And there's Contribute, where new and modified files from A are copied to B. 
Based on the descriptions given and your particular use case, you likely have to choose between backup and contribute. I'm going to choose contribute. So my trigger is only going to transfer files from A that are new and or modified. Lastly, you need to specify the result directory. This is where the results of the copying process will be written to. Click OK and drag an arrow from the start output of the workflow node to the trading partner synchronization action node. And then click OK to finalize the trigger creation process. That's it. Now you know how to configure Jscape MFT server so that you can copy multiple files from AWS S3 to Azure Data Lake storage.